This is the Church of God in Christ Jesus, located at 815 Fargo Street, Durham, North Carolina. And we would like to welcome you to our morning worship service. Our pastor is Dr. W.H. Amos. The assistant pastor is Evangelist Alma Bunn. The speaker for today is Minister Lester Lee Atwood. Our prayer is that you have the gift of faith, the blessing of hope, and the peace of God's love to be within you from this day forward. For you are already blessed. Amen. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you to our service this morning, um, giving honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, giving honor to our pastor and chief apostle, Dr. Amos, in his absence, giving honor to our assistant pastor, Evangelist Bretz, in her absence, giving honor to all the missionaries, the mothers, the deacons, saints, and friends. Um, we are honored to be here in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, at this time, we're going to go to God in prayer. Our Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come this morning. Oh, God, as humble as we know how. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you've done. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're getting ready to do. Now, Lord, we ask you to look on me this morning in a special way. Oh, God, let the words of my mouth and then the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O oh, Heavenly Father, for you are my strength and my redeemer, in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, look on the sick and shed in everywhere. Oh, God, look on our pastor in a special way, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, continue to restore him, continue to redeem him, in the name of Jesus. Look on Apostle Burnett this morning. Oh, God, for we know you got all power in your hand. And Lord Jesus, this morning we're leaning and depending on you. Oh, God, we know that you so loved the world, Heavenly Father, that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believes will not perish, but will have everlasting life. Oh, God, pour out of your spirit this morning. Somebody need a touch from you this morning. In the name of Jesus, look on Evangelist Barnes this morning. Look on her son, Joseph Barry, this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, you know you are a doctor in the sick room. Oh, God, we know that you are a healer. You are a deliverer. Have thine own way now. Bless your people of God everywhere. Oh, God, take us through this morning and give us the victory. And Lord Jesus, if you do it for us, we'll love you and say you did it all. We won't take no credit at all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, I'm not going to be before you long, but I'm going to be coming from St. Mark, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to read verse 6, and then I'm going to drop down to verse 19. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Verse 19. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee, and have had compassion on thee. We're going to use for a thought this morning, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Jesus just had finished his ministry in a little town of the Galilean. And as he walked the sandy beach of that country, there he met a man who was insane. A man who was deranged. A man who was evil-minded. But regarded by his contemporaries, he was fortunately being that he met Jesus. He met Jesus. Now, this man was a wreck. And there is no wreck worse than a human wreck. From the standpoint of mentality, from the standpoint of personality, this man was a wreck. Now, there are other kinds of wrecks, but they are for the most part tragic, but none of them has seen in tragedy the wreck of humanity. Now listen to me now, if you would please. Now, Jesus met this man when he met him. Jesus did not exhibit fear. Jesus did not exhibit curiosity. 
Jesus did not withdraw himself from this young man, but Jesus cried out, young man, what is your name? What is your name? Well, if the young man could remember his name, he could have remembered his mother. If he could have remembered his name, he could have remembered his father. If he could have remembered his name, he could have remembered other relatives that was there unto him. Young man, what is your name? Well, the young man, when he got to Jesus, he said, What does thou have to do with me, thy son of the Most High? Remember, Jesus has a lot to do with anyone and can do a lot for anyone if you would only surrender your life to Christ as did this young man. For the Lord can make your life an abundant life, a productive life, and a helpful life if you would only surrender your life to Christ. Now remember, Satan does not want him to get out of the church no matter where he is. Uh, if you find him in the choir, he, uh, when you're going to put him out the choir, he want to get on the usher board. And if you find him on the deacon board and put him out there, he want to join the Sunday school. He don't want to leave altogether. He feels as long as he's around, he has another strike and another chance at you. But when Jesus met this young man, Jesus demanded these evil spirits to come on out of this young man. And Satan and his allegiance the member says, if you're going to make us leave this young man, there's some hogs over there graving by the sea. And if you don't mind, let us go over there and dwell in that swine. Jesus gave his permission. Uh, well, when Satan and his allegiance of members went over into the swine, he made them all run over into the sea and drown themselves. And those blind Galileans heard what Jesus had done and ordered Jesus from their cause. What they failed to realize to see that the young man now was sitting down with his clothes on and had his hair arranged. They ignored all of that and ordered Jesus out. Uh, but the young man came to Jesus just as he was. Uh, but uh, tell me, the young man looked at Jesus and said, don't send me away. He said, you done done so much for me. He said, I'd like to join your band and become one of your disciples. You've been so good to me. I want to follow you wherever you go. But Jesus looked at him and said unto him, uh, go home and tell your friend what great thing that the Lord has done for you. You can do more for me at home than you can follow me around. Thank you, Jesus. Go home and tell your friend. Go home and tell your mother. Go home and tell your father. Tell them what great thing that the Lord has done for you. You left home insane, going on back in your right mind. You left home walking zigzag, go back walking in a straight line. You left home unhappy, go back with love and peace uh, in your heart. Uh, Thank you, Jesus, young man, go home and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you. Tell them they need to come to Jesus just as they are. Tell that drug dealer, come on to Jesus just as you are. Tell that prostitute, come on to Jesus just as you are this morning. Tell her uh, that lesbian, that homosexual, come on to Jesus, uh, for Jesus is standing up uh, with his arm wide open, uh, saying, Whoso never will, uh, let him come. Uh, thank you, Jesus. But this young man, uh, yes, Lord, the Lord delivered him and set him free. Uh, so therefore, uh, he wanted to go with Jesus uh, wherever he went. Uh, yes, Lord. Somebody uh, out here listening at me today uh, who probably feel that way, uh, their mind is not at peace. Uh, they are disturbed uh, 
and need to come to Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Holy Ghost, don't leave me here. Bless your name, Jesus. But I tell you this morning, you need to let go and let God have his way. Let go and let him have his way and come to Jesus. This young man, he had been living amongst the tomb of the past. He was sitting down amongst the tomb of the past. They said that he didn't have no clothes on. Said he was, his hair was disarranged. And he was cutting himself with stones because of his mind was confused. But when he met Jesus, the Bible said he didn't run from him, but he ran towards him. Therefore, he knew that Jesus was going to deliver him and let him set free. But he did ask the Lord a question. What does thou have to do with me, thou son of the most high? But Jesus demanded them evil spirits to come on out of this young man. God bless you this morning in Jesus' name.